544, Sunny Letter Doozy, and with a look at today's top stories online. Yes, good morning, and uh, I was inspired by my little adventure yesterday yeah. around the city. I got a tip on Twitter about a new social media project that's actually trending this morning in Edmonton, and it's hoping to close the divide between all corners of our city. Paula Simons, better known as Politics on Twitter, is asking that you venture out of your comfort zone and explore parts of Edmonton that you've never wanted to or never thought to. And you can join the project with the hashtag YEG Quest. And the reaction has been very enthusiastic. Tamara tweets, Bomaris Lake, beautiful place to walk, run, sit, or bird watch. Great north side option for people. And Magpie tweets, out for a quick dip in a pool we rarely visit. And there's lots of photos coming in uh, through Twitter and Facebook and everywhere else, which is really cool to see because there's plenty of places that I haven't heard of. Yeah. So, so hashtag YEG Quest. YEG Quest. Okay. Find those little hidden treasures and tweet them out. So, Sounds good. Yeah, great project. And uh, a video was just released yesterday that's really striking a nerve with people as it proves just how easily your entire identity can be stolen online. Good afternoon, sir. Sorry to bother you. This is Jimmy from the Harp Hotel in London. Uh, yeah? Yeah, we got your online reservation uh, for four rooms. Uh, excuse me? I didn't, uh, I didn't make a reservation. The lead character in the video, Tom, is punked by a rep from his bank. He explains that by using just one email and a phone call, he he can empty Tom's bank account. But he takes it a step further when he gets prosthetics to look exactly like Tom, posts photos to his Facebook account, and uses his credit cards to go on a shopping spree. Of course, the whole thing was a prank, but it was extremely effective and uh, proves that with just your email address and your phone number and just some basic information, you could be uh, in big trouble. Man, so. people are gonna go with the online personal information equivalent of putting your money under the mattress pretty soon, Yeah, hey? it's pretty scary. It just it's, it's proves that it's very easy to take a lot of information from you and get all of your information and go into your bank account. And, you gotta be yeah, vigilant protecting very. that information. So any suspicious emails, just don't respond to them because yeah. they're usually going to be dangerous. But anyways, on to a happier note. You're a golf enthusiast. Mm -hmm. I've only golfed once. My favorite part was being on the golf cart. So there's new technology. What's wrong with that, by the way? This is my favorite part. There's new technology that is changing the game. You're going to love this. OK, so yes, a hovercraft golf what? cart golf cart is coming to a course near you. It's uh, in Ohio. It costs $58,000 a piece, but the rental fee hasn't been decided yet. But I'm sure that's not going to be an issue for a lot of people. You can travel over the greens and straight across the water. Pretty cool. I will be golfing more with this. Wow. <laughs> I have to say, last time I was out at Northern Bear Golf Course, I saw something I've never seen before. They have Toro hover mowers. What? Hover mowers. I've never seen anything like it. They're mowing around the sand traps. That's it's the most amazing. amazing thing. I'll try to get a photo next time Please I'm there. Please do. Maybe that'll be a YEG Quest image. Yes. Thanks, Sunny. Thank you. Social Bites again at 740 BT back right after this under a gorgeous sky on this Wednesday morning.